Hey guys, welcome to another video for AskACPA.co. Today's question comes from Julia in Nashville, Tennessee. Julia asks, we're considering gifting our three children each $50,000 for a down payment of their first home. Are we gonna owe taxes on these gifts or will our children have to pay tax on these gifts as well? So thanks so much for the question, Julia. You know, helping your children put a down payment on a home is so generous. It's really uh, an amazing gift. It's most parents' dream to be able to help their, their children financially. And, you know, one thing to consider is the gifting laws have been implemented to tax individuals trying to avoid estate tax by gifting their children substantial amounts of money while they're still alive. The purpose of this law wasn't to tax or be an inconvenience to the middle class taxpayers but instead it's directed at the 1% taxpayers who are affected by the estate tax. As the saying goes, no good deed goes unpunished, and unfortunately gifting is no exception. In today's video, we'll be addressing the following topics. First, what is considered a gift and how much is the annual gift exclusion? Next, how much is the lifetime exemption? And next, how do you maximize your annual exclusion? And when do you need to file a tax return? All right, guys, let's get started. So what is considered a gift? So gifts can be made directly like in Julia's situation or indirectly, including transfers in a trust or cancellation of debt to the beneficiary. But gifts can also be made as, as cash Below, below market loans or transfers of stocks or securities or transfers of goods such as automobiles or artwork or jewelry. Um, these are all considered gifts. So non-cash gifts such as artwork and jewelry should be appraised and valued based on their current fair market value. The IRS defines a gift as any transfer to an individual either directly or indirectly where full consideration is not received in return. The transfer of any asset without reciprocation of something of equal or lesser val or greater value is considered a gift. So there are a few gifts that are allowed without being included in a gift tax return. So those would include tuition and medical expenses paid for someone, gifts to your spouse, gifts to a political organization, or gifts to charity charitable organizations, which are 501c3 organizations. Next, how much is the annual exclusion? So gifts can be made up to $16,000 per recipient per year for tax year 2022. Each taxpayer is allowed to make an annual gift up to the exclusion amount to each recipient. Each recipient. The annual exclusion amounts adjust annually based on inflationary numbers, but prior year's annual gift exclusions um, start off at about $11,000 for tax year 2020, 2002 through 2005, and then all the way up to $16,000 for the current tax year 2022. Gifts made that exceed the annual, annual exclusion amount will go against the donor's lifetime exemption. So the donor is generally responsible for filing the gift tax return and decreasing their lifetime ex exemption amount. So how much is the lifetime exemption? If your gift to a single individual exceeds the annual exclusion amount of $16,000 for tax year 2022, then you'll be required to file a tax return and either pay the gift tax or apply the amount against your lifetime exemption. The annual exclusion amount for 2022 is just over $12 million. And if you're married, the exclusion doubles and it's just over $24 million. So for example, if Julia wants to gift her daughter $50,000 for the purchase of her first home, assuming Julia is single, we would take the gift amount less the exclusion of $16,000, leaving her with a $34,000 amount that is to be applied against her lifetime exclusion of $12 million. 
So Julia would need to file a tax return, letting the IRS know that her lifetime exclusion amount has been decreased by $34,000. When Julia dies, her estate will need to pay estate tax on the amount that exceeds her adjusted lifetime exclusion. So how do you maximize your annual exclusion? So since the annual exclusion amount is limited to one person per gift, a married couple can gift someone up to $32,000. $16,000 times two equals $32,000 without having to file a tax return. To further increase the gifting exclusion amount, if Julia is married and her daughter is married, they can gift a family unit amount up to $64,000. As you can see, the gifting exclusion is limited to a single individual's gift to another individual annually. If Julia was wanting to gift more than $64,000, they could make one gift in December and a second gift in January, bringing the total amount to $128,000. So do you need to file a tax return? If your annual gift exceeds $16,000 for a single individual, then a gift tax return is required to be filed. Whomever is giving the gift is the one who is required to file the tax return. In most cases, receiving a gift does not require a tax for filing. The annual tax return, Form 709, should be filed in the following year in which the gift is made. The return is due by April 15th and can be extended similarly to your personal tax return up to, up to six months or October 15th. Hope you guys found that video helpful. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the like button down below and we'll catch you in the next video. Take care.